tech genius Elon Musk has finally solved the mystery that is surrounding the Great Pyramids of Giza in Egypt. He now has an answer regarding how the massive structure was constructed in 26 BC. How did they, builders, manage to carry a block weighing 80 tons to the roof of the burial chambers? How were the pyramids designed? Join me today in this video where we shall explore how Elon Musk has solved the mystery of the Great Pyramids of Giza. In the list of the seven ancient structures that continue to astound human beings in the modern era is the Great Pyramid of Giza. It is still a mystery how such a massive structure was constructed in the 26th century BC. Numerous theories and hypotheses have been proposed to explain the construction of such a large structure, but they haven't cracked the case yet. All they've done is show how mysterious the structure is. The pyramids are among these structures in Egypt that contain important pieces of the country's history. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the largest of the more than a hundred pyramids that are still standing today. Size, age, notoriety, and the number of theories that have been advanced to account for its origin all add up to something that can only be described as epic. Greater numbers of people from a wider variety of locations have visited the Great Pyramid of Giza than any other structure in the entirety of Egypt. This is from scientists to ordinary men. The method that was used to construct this building is the biggest mystery. The Great Pyramid of Giza is the only one of the seven wonders of the ancient world that has survived in any significant way to the present day. For more than 3,800 years, the Great Pyramid of Giza held the title of the tallest structure ever built by humans anywhere in the world. This is how it all appeared before the smooth white limestone that had been bringing its height up to 146.6 meters was removed, bringing it down to 138.5 meters. The high quality of the materials and the intricacy of the design that went into the construction of this structure have left professionals in the field of science, engineering, and architecture completely bewildered. Everything about it, from the blueprints to the construction to the materials, must have been meticulously planned out and carried out to perfection. This pyramid is still standing, despite the fact that it has been in existence for so many years. Currently, only the fundamental structure can be seen. According to the first set of measurements, its height was 146.7 meters, its length was 230.6 meters, and its base was 230.3 meters, giving it a volume of 2.6 million cubic meters. The most eye-catching aspect of the structure is the weightiness of its construction. The pyramid was constructed out of 2.3 million large blocks, which together weighed a total of 6 million tons. Each block had its own one-of-a-kind size and weight, and none of them were particularly dressed. The design of the structure undoubtedly is something out of the ordinary. The north entrance to the Great Pyramid is perched approximately 18 meters above ground. A sloped corridor that cuts through the interior masonry of the pyramid as well as the rocky ground upon which the pyramid rests provide access to an unfinished underground chamber. A branch that leads upwards from the corridor that is going downwards provides access to the Queen's Chamber, as well as a large gallery that slopes downwards and measures 46 meters in length. The Burial Chamber, which is also referred to as the King's Chamber, can be reached from the uppermost part of the gallery by way of a long and narrow passageway. Granite was used to construct not only the walls and floor, but also the ceiling of this room. It is unknown whether or not the two narrow shafts that lead from the chamber through the masonry and out through the exterior of the pyramid were constructed for the purpose of ventilation or for religious purposes. There are five sections above the king's chamber, each separated by a massive horizontal granite slab. People think that these pieces probably protect the ceiling of the burial chamber from taking some of the force away from the huge masses of stone above. The height of its ramparts is precisely 51 degrees 52 feet, and they are oriented in the appropriate directions on the compass. The interior of the Great Pyramid is composed of yellowish limestone blocks, which are surrounded by a casing of finer, lighter limestone and inner passages that are lined with massive blocks of granite. This structure is a remarkable illustration of technical expertise, engineering prowess, and architectural dexterity all working in harmony. The mortar joints in the interior walls and the outer casing stones that are still standing are of a much higher quality than those in other ancient Egyptian structures. The enormous and remarkable structure prompts the question, how was this constructed? The perplexing question of how the Great Pyramid of Giza was constructed has given rise to a wide variety of mind-boggling philosophies and ideologies as possible explanations. But none of these approaches has been able to produce a solution that has garnered widespread support up to this point. 
Some people, after doing a lot of research trying to rationalize it and thinking of creative ways to explain it, have arrived at the conclusion that aliens built the building. That is not merely an overactive imagination, rather it's a terrifying one. There is no evidence that extraterrestrial beings have ever visited our planet that has been verified. They believe, however, that the intelligence required to build the pyramid taking both the time period in which it was built, and the technological capabilities of the time into consideration, can only have been the work of extraterrestrials. Elon Musk not wanting to be left out of the conversation has also taken part in this discussion. Musk preferred platform Twitter was where he broke the news, declaring the extraterrestrials were indeed responsible for building the structure. Not only did this rise eyebrows among the highest officials in the government of Egypt, but also the general public. On July 31st, 2020, the American business magnate posted a tweet that read, Aliens built the pyramids, obviously. Not surprisingly, his followers noticed as the tweet was shared over 84,000 times. Egypt's Minister of International Cooperation, Rania al Massat stated that she enjoyed Musk's work in a response that was published a little under 24 hours after the initial post. On the other hand, she strongly suggested that he look into the history of the Egyptian pharaohs to learn more about the construction of their palaces in Egypt. Specifically, she wanted him to learn more about the construction of the pyramids. Musk's statement was met with a variety of responses, the majority of which expressed skepticism regarding the claims that he made. This was to be expected, though. In a video that was shared on an Arabic social media platform, Zahi Hawass referred to Musk's claim as a complete hallucination. Later on, he, Elon Musk, tweeted a link to a page on BBC History that provided information about the lives of the people who built the pyramids, along with the following text. This BBC article provides a sensible summary of how it was done. There is no hard evidence to support the theory that aliens are responsible for building the structure. Only speculation exists. Most likely, he made the decision to express himself aloud again on the spur of the moment. There have been many illogical explanations put forward for the construction of this pyramid, but there have also been some explanations that are plausible. This is because there is some evidence that backs up the conclusions that draw from their reasoning. There is one by a Greek historian, Herodotus, that explains that sledgers, rollers, and levers were most likely utilized in the process of transporting stone blocks up the ramp. Then the brick, earth, and sand were used to construct an embankment that encircled and sloped away from the pyramid. This embankment grew in both height and length as the pyramid grew taller. According to the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, the construction of the Great Pyramid took 20 years and required the labor of 100,000 individuals. This number is plausible if it is assumed that these men were agricultural laborers and that they only worked on the pyramids when there was little work to be done in the fields. This was a time when the Nile River was in flood, but by the end of the 20th century, archaeologists had found evidence that the site was inhabited year-round by a much smaller number of people than was thought at the time. In recent years, there has been one person who stood out from the rest of those who have attempted to determine who built the pyramids and why. Jean-Pierre Houdin, an architect, is the man. He is originally from France. Since the 1990s, he has focused his entire life on the investigation of the Great Pyramid. And as a result, he has developed the most forward-thinking theory to date regarding the construction of the pyramid. Houdin hypothesizes the Great Pyramid conceals not one, but two spiral ramps, one of which is contained within the other. The first was an external spiral ramp that went up approximately one-third of the way. The remaining ascent was accomplished by dragging the heavy stones up an internal spiral ramp. According to Houdin's measurements, the slope of this hidden staircase was 7 degrees. It was necessary for the workers to remove the corners of this spiral ramp in order to rotate the blocks. It's likely that cranes were used here. Houdin has not only explained the inner workings of the Great Pyramid's ramp, but he has also shed light on the construction of the Great Pyramid's most mysterious chamber, the King's Chamber. He says that huge granite blocks were put in place above the King's Chamber with the help of a long pulley system. There seems to be more and more evidence that the answer lies elsewhere, the longer we spend trying to figure out how man built the pyramids. Many Egyptologists and historians hold the view that aliens constructed the pyramids, despite the widespread rejection of this possibility by mainstream academia. Many people will likely roll their eyes at the mention of this theory. However, the idea that we have been visited by aliens is one that has a perfectly natural basis. In light of current knowledge, it may be reasonable to conclude that ancient cultures lacked the technological prowess to construct pyramids. 
we can't even come close to replicating Egypt's pyramids with the technology we have today. What are your thoughts on this subject? Let us know in the comment section below. Anyways guys, if you want to see more interesting videos, click the video right above. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications enabled so you don't miss out on the latest Elon Musk news.